Hello, this is Anne from the Kicksled Revolution, and I'm going to show you how to put your kicksled down, how to fold it down from the upright position. So I like to do most of this action from the front of the kicksled. In fact, I'm kind of like in here, standing on the runners again, just to, because I like to feel connected to my kicksled at all times. Um, and also, um, it will become apparent a little bit later why I'm doing that. but. What we want to do is loosen these knobs that, as I've said before, will fly right off or could fly right off. So you do want to loosen them in a controlled fashion. Quarter inch, just over a centimeter, have a look and then push them forward. There's a uh, carriage bolt that has a pan head, has a square neck, and then it has the main shaft. What you need to do is disengage that square neck of the pan head from the receiving housing. So after I've loosened the bolt, loosened the black knob, pushed it forward, then I put my thumb on this crossbar and I lift. Now, as you can see, it doesn't clear. That's totally normal. You may have not uh, turned the, you may not have loosened it enough. I have, a, I know that I did loosen enough. So what I do is, uh, but yes, if you haven't, then you can give it another half turn. The most important thing is making sure these knobs are pushed forward to the front of the kick sled. Still not clearing. I leave it lifted as far as it'll go. What's happening is the, the slot is hung up on that square neck. So what I do at this point, standing on the runners, pull this whole handlebar set up towards me, and then again, make sure these are pulled forward and then it'll clear. We've just further disengaged that square neck from the square hole. Make sure these are tightened. If you're going any great distance or something, you can tie something around there to prevent it from rattling loose. It's usually in transport and storage um, that these black knobs get lost. I do have extras. They are quite precious. They are original parts from Finland. Uh, and you don't want to arrive somewhere you've gone to go kick sledding and have your knob missing because that's a major bummer. So keep your eye on your knobs. Once they're tightened here, then standing on the runners again, and I push it forward. Push the seat down and good to go. And I'm ready. Put it in my little car or put it in my shed for the summer or whatever, but that's how you do it. Happy kick sledding.